This video will cover the topic, finding inputs and outputs of a function from its graph. Inputs and outputs correspond to x and y values, right? That's right. For example, say we're given the following graph of h of x. We're asked to find h of 0 and find one value of x for which h of x equals negative 4. Each point on the graph can be written as an ordered pair, x comma y, which is equivalent to x comma h of x. In each ordered pair, the x coordinate gives an input of the function, and the y coordinate gives the corresponding output. So how would we go about solving our problem? To find h of 0, we find the output when the input is 0. There's one point on the graph where the x coordinate is 0, which is the point 0 comma 2. Therefore, h of 0 equals 2. Next, we need to find one value of x for which h of x equals negative 4. In other words, we need to find an input, x, that gives an output of negative 4. We can do this by finding a point with y coordinate negative 4 and giving its x coordinate. There's one point on the graph with a y coordinate of negative 4, which is the point negative 3 comma negative 4. So the value of x, for which h of x equals negative 4, is x equals negative 3. Why don't you try the next problem? Given the graph of the function g, we want to find g of negative 2 and one value of x for which g of x equals negative 1. So to find g of negative 2, we need to find a point where the x coordinate is negative 2. I see that there is one point on the graph that fits this criteria, which is the point negative 2 comma 3. Since the y coordinate of this point is 3, g of negative 2 equals 3. Next, we need to find an input of x that gives an output of negative 1. To do this, we must find a point with y coordinate of negative 1. On this graph, it looks like there are two points that have y coordinates of negative 1. Is that right? That's right. There are two points, 0 comma negative 1 and negative 3 comma negative 1, that have y coordinates of negative 1. Therefore, there are two possible correct answers for this question. One value of x for which g of x equals negative 1 can be negative 3, or one value of x for which g of x equals negative 1 can be 0. I think I understand. Every point on a graph can be written as an ordered pair, x comma y, where x gives an input and y gives the corresponding output. We can use this information to find inputs and outputs of a function from a graph. That's exactly right. Great work!